Yep, you read that right. Uh, there's a people within the MAGA movement and the Christian nationalist movement that are making fun of Governor Walt's son from cheering on his dad last night when he was nominated as the vice president presidential nominee. And they are making fun of this kid. And this guy right here, you see right here with the picture hanging with Trump. This is him with Trump. And then this is him speaking on a platform here today or, or last night, early today or whatever. I mean, I can't even play you the clips. I can't even play the video of what he's, he is laced with so much vulgar language that we wouldn't get able to be able to hear it because it, I mean, it's, it's despicable what this man is saying. He called Governor Walsh a H-O-M-O -O, and then he went on to tirade about the son and humiliating him and making fun of him. And I mean, this uh, and the people within this movement is this some of the things that they're saying and tell, you know, telling the kids one comment was hand the kid a tampon and all of this other things where it shows you where these hearts, if you call yourself a Christian and you have a mindset like that, it shows you how wicked your heart is, is to make fun of a kid that's proud of their dad, a kid that loves their dad, something that many of these people know nothing about because they have taken a path of, to, to, uh, to the road to riches to where they don't care about their family, friends, or nobody else. And the leader of, the, of this, Mr. Trump, is the main culprit of it. He doesn't show love to you even towards his own wife. You never see them. I mean, you we've seen the videos and things over the years where she pushes his hand away. It's just a money agreement for her. And, and, and it's just, we know what that's about. He even played his own daughter, Tiffany, when she tried to give him a kiss or a, a hug there during his convention. So he doesn't know anything about fatherly love and things, uh, many of these people. And for him, it just shows once again, his true character as a leader, Mr. Trump, where you see these are the types of people that are behind this man. And any Christian that stands like that supports these speakers that go around and talk crazy. Because I've got something to show you uh, uh, with Nick Fuentes. Well, man, matter of fact, let's see it. <laughs> when Michelle Obama gets up there and she looks like you know, Wakanda, she looks like Black Panther. When Michelle came up, my mood did like a 180. I'm like, she activated something inside me because she's just rotten. She's a rotten human being. She is a rotten bitch. No gratitude, even though she's an idiot, she doesn't deserve what, you know, all these, all these Negroes are so proud. That's Nick Fuentes going on a tirade about Michelle Obama with his racist self. That where we talked about, that's a whole nother uh, subject with the people that everyone's jumped on this bandwagon of this false teacher, Brandon Biggs, that the one that claimed that he got it right with Trump's assassination attempt. They've jumped on this guy's bandwagon so much. And as I've been continuing to tell people, this guy is nothing but an undercover nationalist and support racist. And he teaches crazy things. He's Alex Jones has been with this guy. And Alex Jones and Nick Ferwittens are buddies. And both of them, they were at the Capitol on January the 6th. It's total chaos with all of these folks. And why would a Christian associate themselves and sit up there and laugh at some kid that is standing by his father? I mean, it, is, it's, it angers me. It's despicable. And it should anger you if you are have a heart for Jesus Christ to see this type of stuff coming from these people. Because on the next video, because I wasn't planning on making this video until I saw that. And I was like, man, this guy's nuts. These people are nuts, many of them. And I was like, the next video I'm going to show you where Christians are conspiring to try to be involved in a certain way on election night. And I'm going to show you how and show you the proof on the next video of what they're trying to do. So I wanted you guys to see this. It's despicable, it's this disgusting, and it never ends. And there's a reason why it needs to end. 
and we'll talk about it on the next video as we continue to take the devil head on punch it right in between the chops evangelism for god is a channel where we talk about issues the church run away from until the next video i'm maurice braxton take care god bless